well will Sam Darnold fit with Carolina? I'd say pretty well. Sam Darnold is going to have much, much, much better weapons. And, well, he's going to have a pretty good system, too, run by Joe Brady and Matt Rule. This I, I really like what Carolina's system is. Teddy Bridgewater, he, he does not deserve to be... I, no, I shouldn't say deserve. He is not going to play at that starter level that, like he wanted to. And Carolina paid him $63 million over three years. And they're, they're going to trade him, right, most likely. Or release him. Releasing him will definitely not help Carolina. But, yeah, he's definitely going to get traded. It, 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 it does suck that, you know, Bridgewater with the storyline and everything. It, it's a really nice storyline. It, it sucks that he's not, you know, he's not there. Or he's not that kind of starter anymore. And I think a lot of that had to do with the knee. He had to sit out a few years and... I don't know if he's going to be much more than a backup right now. Like, I I can't really see him being much more than a backup for his NFL career. And um, it's sad for sure. And I just feel like the injury took away what could have been a great quarterback in the making. Moment of silence for Teddy Bridgewater's career. All right, moving on. Uh, Sam Darnold. (laughs) signed with or signed what am i talking about he got traded to carolina and he is going to be the presumed starter with sam darnold uh getting traded to carolina this pretty much takes the panthers out of the qb conversation for the draft and um i I like it because sam darnold has a much better chance to succeed than he ever had in his whole football career so far and he gets to reunite with Robbie Anderson, who had 95 catches last year with, keep in mind, Teddy Bridgewater for 1,096 yards, three touchdowns. And DJ Moore, 66 catches, uh, 1,193 yards, four touchdowns, and of course, the best running back in the league. Don't tell me otherwise, because me and you have an appointed conversation right now. See Mac number 22 if he doesn't change his number Christian McCaffrey uh talk about these guys for a sec Robbie Anderson's great off the catch and it's it, these mid like these 15 yard routes and stuff he's really good at them and him going deep post routes and stuff him and Sam Darnold have a great connection that they were able to build in like the final four games of the 2019 season and uh, Robbie Anderson now, he is going to have a great chance to continue building on what was a breakout year for him in Carolina last year. Uh, DJ Moore, I love watching this uh, man play and just the things that he's able to do. He's a pretty good route runner. He can create separation and he he's he's really good man and i think that he's really good after the catch and he's able to change direction really fast and he's he's really uh, shifty i would say and also he's uh he can break them like i think back in 20 what 18 uh cam newton threw him a 10 yard what was it like a 10 yard like high point pass and dj moore broke a tackle took it 80 something yards before darius slate caught him uh that was one that's a play that i still remember to this day was watching it live but (laughs) that an amazing play by dj moore and of course christian mccaffrey um christian mccaffrey missed 13 games last year with a multitude of injuries and uh, Mike Davis is gone, so Christian McCaffrey should uh, be back fully healthy next year. And Christian McCaffrey's a baller, man. It's He was able to do great things, break records with Kyle Allen as his QB. He, bra- he was able to break records with, a, with uh, an MVP Cam Newton. And also break records with an injured Cam Newton. 
And by the MVP, I'm talking about, like, first half of the 2018 season, because you can't tell me otherwise. Cam Newton looked like an MVP, though. See, eight games, but not important right now. Christian McCaffrey is so versatile, and number 22 is the best player on the field at all times, no matter who he's playing, who's go- who he's going up against. I don't care if it's Aaron Donald or Jalen Ramsey. Christian McCaffrey is the best player on the field every time he goes out there. And he knows that. Everybody in uh, Carolina knows that. And if the defense is smart, they know that too. So Christian McCaffrey is going to do great things with an actual quarterback and not a terrible quarterback and not an injured quarterback, right? So, uh, and, and not a backup too, right? Sam Darnold should come into the system, and I think with the full off season, training camps, OT, all that stuff, uh, Sam Darnold should be pretty accustomed to this offense, and I I think he's gonna do pretty good. I feel like Carolina still has a lot of holes defensively. That's the one thing that's holding them back. Uh, so I can't say Carolina's gonna win too many games. Definitely be ahead of the Falcons because I don't know what the Falcons are doing right now. <laughs> but um, I don't see Carolina leapfrogging New Orleans or Tampa Bay, of course. So it'll be interesting to see. This offense is really stacked. And if the defense can catch on, if Matt Rule and David Tepper and uh, Carolina can continue to build this defense, this team could turn around and go from you know, to bad defense back to being the top. And the sad thing is that a few five, six years ago, Carolina had a top three defense in the NFL. It was them, Denver, and Seattle. And Carolina had like Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, Josh Norman, all these guys, right? And I was, I've lived in Charlotte for some time and I love watching that defense play, man. It's, it's incredible, right? If Carolina can get back to that defense, or that kind of defense, this team is scary. Watch out for them in the next couple years or so. These guys could be ahead of the NFC South once again. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Hope you all liked and enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. uh, Subscribe if you're new. Tell a friend. uh, To tell a friend, share this with everyone. (laughs) Peace.